Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here, back with another NHL 21 news video, and today we're going to be covering Hockey Ultimate Team. EA just released news regarding their new game mode called Hut Rush, which is a more arcade, speedy style of the traditional hut that we're used to. In today's video, we'll be explaining the new mode, all of the news they've released, and also showing off actual Hut Rush gameplay. So EA hooked us up with some early footage of how the game will look, and we'll give you guys a first glimpse at that first things first let's get into the different ways to play so hut rush will be available in many different ways 3v3 5v5 arcade threes goal limit time limit the possibilities seem endless it sounds like hot rush will have seasons and divisions within those modes it'll also be available in both single player which is the gameplay we'll be seeing today and multiplayer so you can go on and compete to get to the top of a leaderboard let's go ahead and queue up clip number one of hot rush here first thing that you'll notice at the bottom it says first to 10 wins we are also on an outdoor rink showing that hut is going to be taken to the odr and there is our first goal so you see different things pop on the screen first things first it says snapshot goal that is coming from a pass another pass and the snapshot if we pause it here you'll see the different multipliers so based on the last three things that you did in game that is how your score is going to be multiplied to give you a total for the goal that just happened so in this case this was a very simple play pretty much as basic as it can be so you're not going to get a lot of points for the result now we're still not exactly sure what the score is going to be used for but a game informer article from around when the reveal trailer released said that the points are going to be used to unlock different rewards cards and items in hockey ultimate team so the more deeks that you do the nicer goals that you score the more points that you'll have to unlock things later on moving on you will see your first glimpse at the brand new card designs here in nhl 21 so we have the gold cards and two silvers involved in this goal now it looks like something is missing from the bottom right corner and i believe that is where the synergies are going to be because this is an early build we don't have all the details but i think the synergies are going to be added to the front of the cards so you can quickly see what cards are impacted by the synergies that you have active moving on to clip number two we're now indoors not only indoors they're on the international ice as well so again highlighting the different ways you can play this goal a little bit nicer than the last one we actually had some things different than pass pass shot we had a pass into a little sidestep toe drag and then a backhand shot to finish it so we will see the different multipliers pop on the screen in the top right a 1.2 times multiplier for that backhand shot the toe drag is double and the pass is times one so no bonus we also have some higher overall scoring this one i don't know if these ratings are going to be finalized but we do get our first look at an alumni or legend in the game there with joe sakic a very nice looking card so pumped to have him back in the game and again at an 87 overall we can assume just like last year a lot of these hut cards are gonna start out very low rated we'll now move over to hut arcade three so you can see they have the money puck still in the top left corner it is a play to five win by two and mascots are on the rink as well so gretzky going in with a nasty chip deke toes it to the left and snaps it top left corner and there is our first really nice goal that we've seen so far in this gameplay it says dangle city we had the chip deep toe drag and snapshot of course with it counting those last three and huge multipliers in the top right corner also in the game informer article it mentions you can have a maximum of times five per the last three moves that you've done so in this case the chip deep toe drag and snapshot are each one move those are only 2.2 at the highest with the chip deep so i'm curious what moves are actually going to count for that five times multiplier, I assume it's probably a dot suit flip, a behind the back one hander, maybe a traditional one hander, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, we don't know yet how the seasons and leaderboards will be set up in Hot Rush, but I can assume that the score in the top right corner is going to have a big impact. So maybe instead of being sorted by just wins and losses, the score is what you're going to be sorted by. So you're looking to get as many points as possible 
as you play and maybe you get a huge bonus for example for winning the game i feel like this is something hud has needed for a long time just because each hut game you're hopping in and you're committed to at least 20 to 30 minutes when it counts the load times and everything that you have to do now you can hop into hut rush they literally have game modes that are going to be first goal wins maybe a quick game to three maybe you're playing just one period instead of playing an entire game i think there's endless possibilities and really this could be my favorite game mode as a content creator and streamer just being able to hop in and have fun with these quick short games another thing worth mentioning is of course this is hut so you're gonna be using the players that you've unlocked but there is a different mode within hut rush with a fantasy draft so maybe going into some of these specific events or tournaments you'll have the chance to draft a team then use that team specifically for that hut rush event so if you don't have a great team this is gonna be a good chance to just hop in for the first time try out some new cards it sounds like a pretty cool idea all in all i think this game mode's a pretty cool idea i think it'll be fun to just hop in and play some casual games instead of having to sweat in hut champs and hut rivals all the time you'll be able to hop on and just play some quick games relax deke around hopefully everyone treats it the same way now the main issue i see arising with this is of course there's going to be people that try to exploit it and they figure out the exact deep combos that you need to get a 15 times multiplier that is going to be an issue this game mode is going to kind of change the way that people play in the sense that if you have a breakaway instead of just going in and doing a backhand forehand which would get you what like 30 points in this game mode you're instead going to want to add as many deeks as possible so as you get into the zone do a toe drag then go between your legs then do a one-hander to finish it like it's going to look really awkward and maybe a little bit forced at times so hopefully they do something to kind of balance that out in this clip you can see that apparently rules are off so maybe there's no penalties no offsides in some variation of the mode i personally probably won't be messing with that as often but hey again the more options the better in our last clip we get a look at a couple legends in john leclerc and a tip from peter forsberg nice looking goal this play looked like it was offside as well so again i'm hoping that rules are on at least in some of these modes but there is the card art for both the legend and peter forsberg and it looks like the john leclerc card art may just be the alumni so pretty good looking cards man i like the nice and clean designs and we'll see what the rest of them look like later on all in all i'm pretty happy with what i'm seeing in hot rush to summarize everything that we saw today of course we saw the actual gameplay the different modifiers and how they impact your score we saw the different ways to play so 3v3 5v5 arcade time limit and goal limit and we saw where you could play so of course you have the outdoor rink the indoor rink both international and nhl size man obviously we'll have to wait and see once more info comes out but everything that i'm seeing with hot rush sounds pretty solid our one main concern is just how people are going to exploit this of course people will find out what the easiest and best way to get your multiplier up is and just do the same move again and again but hopefully ea has a way to prevent that from happening hopefully this mode will be just a nice casual and fun way to play hut and hopefully it'll make for some very good content as well for me selfishly i know we're gonna have a lot of fun on stream and in videos with this mode i think what i want to do first and foremost is run a first goal win tournament so hop in have a bracket of say 64 people it's literally one goal the game is over and you move on so at any point anyone can advance anyone can lose it should make for a pretty good time so that is all the info we have so far for hut rush let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below of course hit the video with a like if you found this helpful and you want to see more nhl 21 news and hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 500 000 subscribers that's it for this one i'll see you guys next time and peace yeah.